Tesla Vice President of Autonomy Asha Goswami and the rest of the Tesla AI team have been hard at work with recent releases of full self-driving. Today, we'll review Ashok's recent statements as well as posts on X that he reposted. In response to a person who said Cybertruck needs a rear camera washer, Tesla announced that a more comprehensive cleaning solution is being worked on. Over the last week, Ashok reposted several videos showing how great version 12.6 is doing for AI3 cars. We'll watch those videos. And I've got Larry Goldberg with me today. Welcome, Larry. Thank you. Great to be here. So, of course, full self-driving is the most important uh, catalyst, the most important milestone for Tesla this year. All eyes are whether or not they're making progress or not. And one way that I thought we could really take a look if there has been progress or if Tesla truly do themselves believe that RoboTaxi is coming this year and not just Elon, but Ashok. So I went down his post is his ex account. And I kind of took a look at what he's been saying and what Tesla has been saying. So let's start with uh, what Tesla AI team just replied. Here you've got dirty Tesla making a post saying FSD will be a lot harder where it snows. He's currently on vacation or driving the car. And you can see that um, just the reflection is so, uh, so hard for you for FSD to even, you know, see not only humans, but of course, uh, they have already pointed out that even if you are blinded, FSD is not necessarily blinded. And yet, of course, we do see little notifications on the car saying, you know, hard uh, visibility is lower. So Brandon said, Cybertruck needs a rear camera washer because if it gets dirty, what do you do? What do you do? Tesla AI team initially first made a joke, say, give that camera a little bit of personal attention, won't you? Now, Chuck Cook, who's famous for one of the people that does a lot of FSD training, he said, while I agree cleaning cameras while supervised is definitely something we need to consider, having an official post from Tesla AI about cleaning our own cameras is a bit concerning. You have a plan for this, right? Unsupervised can't have customers wiping cameras. Tesla AI then replied to him saying, on a more serious note, a more comprehensive cleaning solution is being worked on if if they're working on this like actually you know helping clean it that's one more step towards robot taxi um what do you think about that reply yeah i mean uh, lighten up chuck <laughs> no but seriously <laughs> um there has been an improvement uh the latest version of 13 is definitely superior in this respect to the earlier version which was very sensitive to uh late afternoon or early morning sun um, and I know because I went down on uh, – I've, I've driven both, both versions all the way across the United States from North Carolina to Texas. Um, not all the way across, but from North Carolina to Texas, westbound and eastbound. And so you're going into the rising sun, uh, going into the setting sun or coming back into the rising sun. And, and you know, from morning to night, you get the rising sun – and the front from the front to the back because you're going east to west so you're either getting glare from the front or you're getting glare from the behind both direct suns and there's been a significant improvement uh in the last two versions and there's also been an improvement in the camera cleaning i noticed last night i was driving in the um in the setting sun uh in the model three and it handled it extremely well uh, when we had the setting sun on the side, you know, into the side camera. So, I, I would, I would say that we're seeing improvements. Um, I think that there is a lot that they can do technically, um, and the camera cleaning is just one aspect of it. The other aspect is just dealing with the enormous glare and and how to handle that. Um, so I think. I think there's there's improvement and I think there's room for a lot of improvement and I'm glad to see them focusing on it. You know, when people say, oh, as it's, it's, it's just software. It's so easy for other companies to copy them. As soon as Tesla solves this, other companies will just come out with it and it's going to be very competitive. I mean, every time you hear Tesla has been working on this for years, a, a feature here, a feature there. <laughs> It takes time to code these things in like most recently, right? Like you, you now have this ability, I'm driving FSD and I'll get a note saying one of your cameras needs to be cleaned and it'll tell yeah. you now which camera it is. Yeah. So after I parked the car, I looked at it and it told me it was the front camera of the, this, you know, the windshield. And so like, this is 
feature that other car companies who want to do autonomy need to then do themselves. It just adds up. Uh, yeah. Every, yeah. every robo-taxi service, one of the key one of the key service pieces that they're going to have to do is clean the windshield and clean the cameras every night or every, you know, every stop. So that's going to be required. And there will be times where the, the car will just have to stop on the side and say, sorry, can't go right. any further. Go you know. yep. And that's how it's going to work because, you know, no matter whether you have a driver or not, if the car has a problem, whether it's a mechanical problem, an electronic problem, or a camera problem, it's going to have to stop. So these are real world problems that are going to be overcome, I believe will be overcome. And yeah, I'm very sure. confident that Tesla, whether or not it jokes, whether or not they joke about it, lighten up there, guys. <laughs> it's coming. I think they'll solve well, it. So this is a post that happened in, before Christmas. Uh, this yeah. guy said, Cool pick from tonight. Cool to see the new update camera heater. What other car yeah. throws that in an update? So now you can see the camera melted the snow. People are going, how is it going to do that? Well, this is one example. The camera heater has a heater and it melts the snow. And this is Asha Kalaswami saying improved camera cleaning. That's one, yeah. one thing that they can do. Not great. Yeah. And there will be occasions where it just can't be done. Yeah. So that's why, you know, there will have to be a service center. And at that service center, they're going to have to take care of things like snow and so on and so forth. Okay. Of course, once Let's the car is operational mm -hmm. and heated from the inside, it's not a risk. Let's take a look at more things that Ashok has been reposting, especially recently. So here's a post from a Tesla Talk. And he's tried out version 13.2.2. And he said, interesting new behavior. Ashra Kalaswami reposted this, right? Detects heavy braking up ahead, performs a safety dive into the shoulder lane to stop safely and avoid a potential accident. Once the path is clear, it seamlessly merges back into regular traffic and continues driving. This is second level brilliance here. Let's take a look at uh, what, what he's referring to. Okay, so for some reason, the FSD went to the shoulder well, and then went the, back up. That car in front put on its brakes. It was in the wrong lane. It had to move over. It suddenly braked. Look, the, there's a brake mm -hmm. lights going on. Yeah. It's pulling over. That guy almost came to a stop. If the car hadn't pulled back, you know, it could have been faced in danger. So, it, you know, that's the kind of driving that only a very alert and expert driver that really does anticipation carefully would go. You know, so it pulls to the side. Why? Because if it had slammed on the brakes the way you or I would have done, yeah. it may have been rear-ended. Isn't that amazing? I mean, that's brilliant. Uh, best drivers out there. And you can only do that through neural net by feeding it all these best driver videos. And then it learns how to do that. You can't, you know, decide to, if this, then that. The text heavy braking up ahead performs a safety dive into the shoulder lane to stop safely and avoid potential accident. Once yeah. the path is clear, it then merges back. And uh, Asha reposted that. So he is saying, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that it can do. Here's another one. Roger Kapler, initial impressions of FSE 12.6. Now he's referring to the hardware three cars. Uh, yeah. Model Y, wow. End to end highway is a game changer. It absolutely drives like a human now because that's one of the things they can now do with hardware three. It's 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 not yet for 13, but it's it's got uh, features of 13. End to end highway is one of them. Lane changes are happening immediately. The car leaves the passing lane exactly the way I would do it. Uh, it's smooth. The controller improvement is mind-blowing. No jitters, no awkward hesitations. Car feels like it knows what it's doing. Speed profiles just nail it on city streets as well as highway. Deceleration, even in unplanned situations like stopping for an opossum. This is an opossum crossing the road. It's smooth like butter. Earlier lane change. Yes, no longer waiting for the last possible second. Yeah. There's a specific spot where would always wait to the last second. One issue I observe that seems to have been inherited from 313. At one light, the car seems to anticipate when red lights turn green and goes too early. Ooh, that's not terrible. Actually, I prefer that. Here's the video of this opossum that's coming, and then the car was oh, able wow. to see it, and yeah. it slowed down. And so what's interesting about this is um, Ashok actually replied to or forwarded his post, and he said 12.6 is now rolling out to generally to AI3 cars. 